If you look at your bill from your internet provider, you might find some charges you don't recognize. Researchers at Consumer Reports went through thousands of bills and says many have unnecessary fees. Christine Lazar has more on what you need to know in tonight's Steals and Deals. It feels like we can't live without it, but many can't keep up with the cost of internet service. Consumer Reports looked at internet bills from all different providers across the country and found the average price for home internet is now about 75 bucks a month. And that's expensive. That's, you know, that's a lot to pay for internet service. And why? Because Pretty much there's no one telling internet service providers what they can and cannot charge you. Jonathan Schwantes is a senior policy counsel for Consumer Reports. He says after studying more than 22,000 bills submitted by consumers from all 50 states to its Fight for Fair Internet project, Consumer Reports found that many providers keep bills high with so-called junk fees. And they have very sneaky names like the internet infrastructure surcharge or the technology service fee. And you kind of think, like, that sounds kind of legitimate. Maybe that's a government fee. It's not. Schwantes says the fees are legal, but he believes they aren't ethical and are used to pad profits. The study also found rates vary by market and are especially high when there aren't a lot of choices for providers. Prices can be arbitrary. In many instances, providers charge different prices for the exact same plan. Finally, many of the bills collected included add-on fees for data overages and equipment. The Federal Trade Commission is currently looking into those junk fees. It defines them as unnecessary or surprise charges that inflate costs while adding little to no value. Christine Lazar, CBS News, Los Angeles.